So let's try setting it up for horizontal milling and see what happens with that. It's going to be exciting. Exciting. This is the horizontal arbor. It's held on with this, uh, this dovetail. This is a drawbar that I found in the box of bits, but I don't think it's going to pass through here. Maybe it does. Hmm. The more you know. Up, isn't it? <clears throat> so these are all the spacer rings. So I'm going to leave the larger one on there, which would only be removed if we were going to use a big slab cutter, which we're not. I'm going to find a cutter, let's say, for the sake of argument, this one and see how thick it is. I make it as thick as that spacer ring there. So we'll leave this spacer ring off. We will Yeah, that's on the drawbar. It's there. This should now One. So I think that should now be tight enough that it's not going to spin like it did last time. This is hydraulic oil for use on the Myford but it's doing the same thing. So I'm gonna put a tiny drop in there just so it's not running dry. There are no doubt gonna be some very important calculations around surface feet per minute on this diameter cutter versus this material and what speeds and so on. I think just because I don't have enough experience, I'm gonna stick it fast and in the middle gear. Let's see what that does.
looks like a 70 power depth of charge. Okay, <laughs> didn't like what happened there, so definitely going to have to figure that one out. Ah, the, um, the, the, the locking nut on the arbor had had caught against the inside of the support. So maybe I need to cut the other direction in reverse so that then the pressure is the other way. So it will be locking it tighter. Yeah, because you can see these, these are now all loose. it seems that this it seems like it needs support but then there's nothing in here that that's going to support it <laughs> 